Welcome to this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. My name's Nathan Brockman, and I'm the Butterfly Wing Curator here at the Gardens. And today, we're going to spend some time in the Butterfly Wing after dark, looking at butterflies under UV light. Before we go into the Butterfly Wing, we first need to talk a little bit about visible light. Now, visible light is really the spectrum of light that we as humans can see. Essentially, the colors that we see on a particular object is just visible light reflecting off of that particular object. The reason that leaves are green to us is because it's the green part of the spectrum that's reflecting from the leaves. As human beings, we have the ability to see the visual light spectrum ranging from about 400 nanometers, which includes the purples, all the way through to 780 nanometers, which would be the reds. Now, insects, on the other hand, have the ability to see down into the UV spectrum which should be down past the purples. This comes at a cost though. Most insects don't see much past about 600 nanometers. So they don't actually see a lot of the red colors. Over time, as insects and plants have evolved together, plants have actually developed special UV patterns such as bullseyes or runways, which lead the insects into their final destination, being the nectar or pollen locations. Here we're looking at a picture of the wandering Jew plant's flower. When we fluoresce those same flowers under UV light, you see that the pollen actually reflects the UV light. This advertises to passing insects that there's an ample supply of pollen there, increasing the chance that an insect is gonna stop and visit this flower. So let's head into the butterfly wing now and take a look at some of the patterns of the butterflies that fluoresce under UV light. At this time, the sheer scope of the UV patterns is currently unknown. But some scientists will use the UV patterns to identify certain species of invertebrates. While in the insect world, it's believed that males and females will use their UV patterns as part of their mating behavior.
though on a regular visit to the butterfly wing you won't get the opportunity to see the special UV patterns, it's still fun while you're in there to speculate which butterflies might exhibit this unique trait. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. If you'd like to learn more about Ryman Gardens or to see other videos, please visit our website at rymangardens.com. Thank you.